What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Poseidon. His name is Magic. His opponent today in the red color also playing as Poseidon. His name is Boobez. The map is Frozen Wastes. And Magic is back in the flesh playing some gimmity games. Uh, I was just checking out the, uh, the top uh, the top 20 on Vubly and I saw he was in it, so he's been playing a little bit, uh, which is very, very exciting. Uh, and hell yeah, so we got some games to watch. Uh, some of the, the toppest level games you're gonna see uh, in, a, in a long time, I guess. I mean, it's, it's been a while since we've had these kind of players playing and Boobaz has been playing really, really strong recently, so I'm sure he's gonna put up a really, really good fight uh, against magic and we'll uh, we'll see we'll see how these games go uh, frozen waste is a really interesting map for like mirror matchups because it's super open and and you can be super aggressive in the middle of the map in the early stages of the game is incredibly important because if you check out what's actually forward on this map you've got hunt 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 and, and if you can't secure, say, this hunt here, um, and your opponent, you, if you can secure your hunt here, you can probably secure your opponent's hunt. So it's really important to have some very super aggressive uh, strategies here in, in order to make sure that you can get both these um, these these hunt areas. Otherwise, uh, your opponent's gonna be super far ahead. Uh, and, and then you do have the secondary hunt over here, which with the elk, uh, which, is a kind of trade-off, but still, like if your opponent gets his hunt here and here, then uh, you can always walk back and get this hunt a little bit later. So we'll see if uh, these players do anything uh, interesting or or not in order to play around that. Magic's going for three wood, three gold, whereas Boobaz is going for what looks like to be two wood, two gold. Uh, unlike uh, unlike the Zeus and Hades. Poseidon doesn't need to have the third villager on wood because of this lure here. The lure should bring in a little bit of hunt, and you can see we've already got nine villagers on the food here for uh, Boobaz, who is getting up his temple. Uh, he also has been very unlucky with this lure, but the lure will bring in some hunt, so he doesn't have to throw down an extra granary in the classical age. You'll only have to put the initial granary down, and you're going to notice that magic is going to be floating uh, quite a bit of wooden gold because he hasn't built his temple yet it's not late to throw up the temple right now so long as you throw it up around um i think it's two fact maybe it is a little bit late throwing it up about 250 because it takes about well, let's say it takes 40 seconds to build but maybe only 30 seconds but you do want to be advancing at about 330 to hit the classical age at 430 in this matchup for sure and i do like this uh lure here from magic on top of the granary it's going to bring in the walrus. There's no aggressive hunt on this map that spawns. You don't find, um, you don't, or well, you do have polar bears, but I mean, uh, they're, they're not the, they're not like crocodiles or anything like that. You can easily snipe them and that's totally fine. We just see magic uh, shepherding some of those caribou back to his uh, granary here. Um, if you do have a, a, option, a moment where the caribou walks off to the side, uh, he will eventually make his way back to the granary here. Um, that's kind of, he doesn't want to be too far away from where he was spawned and just uh, that that's a thing there as well. Uh, relics on the map, we have Trojan Gate, Hinge and the Armor of Achilles. So fairly, uh, probably not going to see those relics get picked up. Maybe the Trojan Gate Hinge has a little bit of value, but uh, on this map, it's super open, probably not. There is the Polar Bear here. Magic not paying attention. He does manage to pull that one back in time but uh, it's not gonna be close enough to the granary here for him for, for it to be worth for him to uh, be, be gathering from that one. We do see a very early, early classical age here from Boobaz, who's got in his Theseus out. He's chucking up double stables and the Santa's coming out. I'm a little bit surprised that he doesn't delay the second stable here and, and go for an early Hippolyta because getting that Hippolyta out early, you can do so much damage with it, especially when you advance 415 um, advance time in, in the mirror wall or even just when you're playing against basically any civilization that isn't uh, named Zeus 
Ra or Set because they have a good answer to the early uh, hero in Shifting Sands or Bolt. But against Poseidon, there's no good answer to that early hero beyond getting your own early hero. And Magic actually neglecting to get his um, getting his heroes out at all. He's going straight for this town center. Boobaz is going to scout it. His heroes are out of position a little bit. He should have been... Um, Moving over onto this hunt here, making sure that's not getting grabbed. He does want to check this, but that's totally fine. Gattiscope is going to be delaying this very, very slightly. And we do see Magic casting the super early ceasefire for no particular reason, it looks like. Um, he could have held off on that, but I guess he just doesn't, doesn't care. He just wants the... Wants the town center to go up as fast as it possibly can, so cease firing is gonna slow down that two uh, damage per second that's coming onto the town center. Uh, a little bit interesting, a little bit interesting. Okay, stables going up for magic. Population is 27, two boobabs is 47, and Boobaz actually just neglecting to go to second town center at all. He's gonna be going all out on these raids. Uh, Theseus pops out of the town center and he's going to be searching around for uh, something to do here but I feel like this build that Magic did he could have got out a Theseus and a Hippolyta and got this town center up and not used Ceasefire but or at least that's that's just kind of maybe he would have had to but considering how aggressive um, Boobez is going, but now Boobez looking. You've got some really nice stable placements here from Magic. I love this house here. I love the temple, and then the two stables making this uh, wood location incredibly safe, Cross meaning that, that if Boobez wants to raid it, he has to walk past the uh, past the town center fire. Boobez like not paying attention at all. He's Hippocon getting completely out of position. He's going to be losing a bunch, which is really really huge considering his big advantage right now is is. Um, is how, how fast he went to the Classical Age. And also a nice sniper here onto this uh, Hippocon, but he does get saved with two HP and Magic does lose one there. So nice micro from Boobaz, who's gonna be, uh, he probably should be retreating away from here at this point. And he's gonna be searching up the top as well. We do see farms already coming out. Another thing that we didn't talk about on this map is the uh, crazy amount of herdables you can get. Uh, and if you look at the gather rates of herdables versus hunt, it is, it is a fairly big difference, but then if you add the 10% gather rate on the herdables, it actually kind of goes up to um, 0.83 or 4 or whatever you want to, oh, 0.8, 0.8 point, whatever it is, 0 0.8, 3.3. Um, so it's really close to base rate um, hunt. And then obviously the hunting dogs does make a significant difference for... Uh, for, for, for Hunt, but uh, all that being said, it's it's not that far behind and you are being incredibly safe with no walking time. So it's not as big of a difference as people think. It is a big difference, but it's not as big as you think. Uh, and we do see Boobaz is grabbing his own Hunt here. So he's gonna have a little bit more food, but Magic's gonna be catching up on that, uh, on those resources very fast. We'll see if he does have Husbandry and Plow, which he does have Husbandry, but no Plow. Uh, so he will be looking to grab that one fairly soon, it looks like. And now Abubez is still searching for something. He's going to be falling. He keeps on just losing um, Hippocon to Town Center Fire here because I think Magic knows that Boobaz, or Boobaz knows that he has to be aggressive here. He has to find some attacks. And we do see this, uh, this snowy pine here could be abused. This could be very much abused. Uh, and it's just about to be chopped as well. So that's going to open up this location here. So this is going to be raidable. And we do see that Boobaz notices it straight away as he's sending the Theseus through here. The Hippocon are onto this stable. We do see the Hippolyta and the Centaur do pick off one villager kill there. But given that this has already been two minutes, Boob um, Magic is going to be... Uh, I've got to do math fast in my brain. It's not possible. Seven villagers ahead already considering got the town center up at six minutes. So one villager kill for Boobaz is not going to cut it here. Uh, but we'll see if he can grab his town center fairly soon and, or even go double town center uh, as a response to this around about nine minutes um, given his situation on the economy would be 
uh, would be a, a decent a decent response to this. You you have the army already out. You prevent your opponent from getting this third town center. You get your three town centers roughly about this time. He's got too many villages on food to be doing that. Uh, and then you just boom off it and you use your own ceasefire when your opponent pushes out, basically. It's the is is a counter to what's going on here. Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But the uh, the militia getting picked off there is Abubez is still moving back and forth here trying to pressure magic but magic is just powering ahead 82 population to Bubez is 91 so the population difference is kind of being uh, nullified here from the early classical age of Bubez Stecken Town Center is going up for Bubez now which will maybe able to allow him to eat these walrus uh, in fact, it will because it's quite close to the town center. And Bubez is still checking over here, looking to see if he can pick off some villages. The town center, yet again, doing a lot of damage to these Hippocon. Maybe even going to pick one off. And starts to get away with 11 HP. Another raid coming onto the bottom here for Bubez. He does find some villages. They're a little bit out of position here with this house. Not the best placement of the house that is going to be blocking that villager and also the berry bushes. But he does manage to run the rest of them away. Another villager killed for Bubez. Tatascop is coming on to the back and he is going to get picked off by the villagers and all of the army of magic. He's got his Apollita out as well. Going to be in a decent position here. You see these villagers jumping back. Well, they, like I said, they are going to be able to at least grab this warrior. These ones are going to be a little bit far away to be uh, dragged into the town center. Maybe this one. Definitely not this one. So we'll see. Um, the risks going for it. Uh, you definitely don't want to be losing villages. Magic not paying attention Thank to his you. Hippocon. He will be taking quite a few hits and going to be losing at least one, maybe even two. Nice micro from Bubez to get some path blocking. You're going to pick off another Hippocon. It's two Thank other Hippocon are making their way away. Looking for maybe some um, some distractions here. Three Hippocon for two in this location up here. Chasing around is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be interesting, but I, I think Thank Magic's you. just going to either sacrifice them or, or kind of run them around. He's not moving them any further, so that's going to be great for uh, for Bubez now. Uh, Bubez moving in at this point. This is a bit of a dangerous fight here. With Town Center Fire, uh, this is very much in favor of Magic, who's sitting at a 117 pop. So Bubez is 121 pop. And it looks like, looking like Bubez is actually going to be trying to get uh, Heroic Age here. You see some uh, military academies getting thrown up as well. Uh, as a preemptive strike to transition into hoplites or even mix in some hoplites to deal with the pure cavalry of Bubez. Now Bubez has clicked up and is going to go through Aphrodite. There's no surprise there. Magic on the other hand is not going to be close to advancing here because he hasn't been on the hunt. So he's definitely, definitely suffering. He's actually eating berries as well, which are very slow. They are base rate, um, what is it, uh, 73 and you don't get the bonus husbandry on it. Uh, so they, they do they do struggle quite significantly. And not only that, but Bubez has still got hunt left or husbandry herdables left, plus a little bit of hunt here. So he may even try and just go for a quick uh, heroic age here. If he can earthquake this location here, he may be able to run straight in and then just hit this gold mine with the with the effect of uh, of what's it called curse if he just sits two town centers you can see he's got quite a bit of food here sitting at 80 percent uh and you may just go straight for that mythic age uh timing push with earthquake curse and hit this would be absolutely huge magic on the other hand is almost uh about to click up and as i tell a lie he could click up if he cancelled all of these military buildings uh but he's not done that just yet yeah, yeah. now the third town center is coming up for magic which is a very, very dangerous idea. And Bubet's actually also going for a third town center. So it changes that that um that heroic age timing is not gonna be uh coming into play here, which is oh sorry, mythic age timing is not gonna be coming into play. Nice raid here from uh from Bubez onto these villages. A nice micro to pull this uh Hippocon away and trying to keep some of these guys alive and doing as much damage as you possibly can. Nice raid from Magic though, counter raid, hitting off the, this hunt, only 267 food left on it. They will be running back into the town center here. Hippocon gonna have to retreat a little bit. They might wanna just see if they can come over and hit this gold mine. We do see some walls up already, but it's not the best. But we do have a couple of hoplites getting pumped out as well as Magic is trying to push forward, but getting denied there.
there by Boobez Curse getting thrown down on this location, hitting a bunch of those villagers, as well as those military units, those top lights getting picked off as well. And a couple more villagers are going to go down. Uh, Magic does get his up his armory. Third town center is up. We do see some Prodromas coming out right now for Boobez, who is going to be staying in this in this heroic age for a long time here, it looks like. Uh, and the Neiman Lion comes in to hurt quite a bit as the... Uh, the Hippo, Hippo, I can't speak, Hippolyta is already targeting that one, but we do see heavy cavalries come through for Boobaz as he picks off all these heroes and the raids are still going on. These hoplites coming over to hit them back, but remember that the Hippocon can basically just run away from these guys, no problems. And not only that, three Hippocon do beat three hoplite, and not only that, three heavy Hippocon beat three hoplite because they are worth an extra population slot, and the hoplite are a soft counter, but they do not have such a huge advantage that they beat them by themselves. Anyways, Hippocon looking to come back in again, and he's going to be noticing that he may have to start transitioning into either some uh, ooh, nice raid from uh, from Magic. I love this. I love this gate here. This gate is ingenious because you can't wall on the back. If you wall on the front, you put a gate, and the raid comes in. You can just run through it, and you save the villagers, and you can just move back at any time. Oh, when the units move away, we just see the fortress coming up. For, uh, for Boobears here, Aphrodite comes in for magic. And because magic's been... Oh, nice raids yet again by Boobears. Uh, but because magic's been on... Well, two town centers for longer, it would only seem to reason that he'd be able to hit Mythic Age a little bit earlier than Boobears. But I think the damage that Boobears has done has kind of equated this... Uh, this economic situation but Boobez is running out of actual food resources and he's going to invest have to invest a lot of wood into getting farms out which is going to slow him down whereas magic's kind of already done that we just see the curse goes down onto Boobez as well who's really struggling for resources right now so it's a really good curse and forcing uh Boobez to keep reducing military units when he wants to be building um villages and farms but the pigs do give him some resources to be eating here. Uh, and you definitely want to jump onto those straight away, I reckon. Another Nibian line getting built as the Prodromus chasing these Hippocon away. And Magic is actually deciding to fight this. He will win the fight, but at what cost? He already lost like three or four uh, Hippocon there. And the Nibian line's already over here to defend. You see some more Hippocon looking for a slight raid. Huge raid by Magic here onto these villagers. Absolutely gigantic. I don't know if the ceasefire was 100% worth it. Um, obviously, uh, Booba is making a big mistake by getting caught out there, but it was only eight villages or nine villages, uh, and you've got this setup here that you want to you want to kind of sink your teeth into. Hit this town center would be huge. But Magic's already got quite a few resources coming in fortified town centers coming through market going up so he's going to be looking towards the mythic age probably through a fire so a bunch more military buildings going up as he does spot the walls already here uh and this is going to probably just have to get earthquakes here because magic does not have a fortress up just yet in order to defend it or he can just face palm or face what's it called put his face into the uh into the wall and try and push through uh, could be a, a little bit of an option, um, but we'll see. We'll see what he goes for. We do see Hephaestus. I, I don't hate the Hephaestus. Get a Colossus out is probably enough to push through this, to be honest. Um, even if, well, I mean, Bubaz is not going to be hitting Mythic Age anytime soon, but even if he did, Polyphemus not going to be the best defense against a couple of Colossus uh, coming out and also those extra armory upgrades. And you see Nimian Lion pushing forward, Boobez running backwards. Metropolis are already onto this town center. He's got three of them. They need to all be hitting this. Uh, and if I click on the town center, we do only have four to five town centers here. Uh, so no Mason. So these Petropolis are going to be doing quite a bit of damage. This one not attacking the right thing though. So going down a little bit too slow. We just see yet again another raid from Magic, but the villagers are going to turn around, fight back on this one. Uh, and I'm not going to lose any villagers there, so not the best uh, best raid there. And Magic actually going for a huge movement over onto this location, but Boobaz does notice it as he is going to be retreating away from that gold mine. He could move onto a bunch of other random gold mines here and here if he uh, 
if you wanted to try, and we do see that magic is going to turn away from that. It's going to be totally fine. Down center for magic is going to be falling, but the fortress is up for magic. Magic is going to be hitting the mythic age very soon through Hephaestus, and he's still got his full army of 160 population. So unless he doesn't fight before he gets out, like I want to say bronze armor, he should be okay here. Uh, there's no no reason why Bubez is going to be so far ahead. I think he should be able to push back into this. There is the Mythic Age. The Plenty Vault will give him an effective 10 extra population in economy. Obviously, he's not going to just delete villages at this point, but that's going to allow him to get those upgrades up. And we do see that now Magic is uh, pushing back. Even with a hole in the wall here, that's really big. And we see that the Petropolis is making their way over onto this town center as well. Mimi and Lions helping out, but the villagers will be able to pick off these uh, Petropolis very, very well. And while this is going up, Magic is just getting his town center back absolutely for free here. Well, not for free. He's obviously fighting, but this is just way too easy to get this town center back up. And Bubez is losing all of his population here. So the villagers chasing these Petropolis away. And the town center going to be getting back up magic gonna be getting his forge of olympus up i think he's already got it or is he making not sure what he's spending favor on here um but he's he's gonna be pushing forward here and taking down this fortress and this is gonna be a, a difficult a difficult one for Bubez to come back from because you can see he's always going for Hephaestus himself. Tell a lie. This is going to be a really, really good game here. I'm, just, I'm thinking uh, that the Hephaestus will come through and this should be able to defend, hold on to this town center. Bubez still doesn't have fortified town center split, which is a big issue. And he's really low on the um, on the resources here. He needs to spam a bunch of buildings out and move backwards here uh, and just kind of give up on this... Uh, on this fight, not not uh, not waste too many resources here. Magic still has not gotten out his um, his Forge of Olympus, which is a big big misstep because that's a huge timing you can have. We just see Ultimus coming out for Magic as well. He's going to be bashing away at these units. He's such a absolute tank of a unit. Uh, and now we've got Heliopolite coming onto this town center. Honestly, I don't know if the if the timing for Bubez is going to be working here because the Heliopolis is really hard to pick off. The Town Center has no upgrades. Bubez is going to hit the Mythic Age and, and he's going to have to somehow do what Magic did back to him, uh, back to Magic. But he doesn't. He's not sitting at 160 population. He's only at 130, uh, 136, 138, and he's constantly losing units. So losing this Town Center may be a really big deal. Uh, and we do see the armories are coming up. He's going to be attempting to get out his Forge of Olympus here, but it's going to be really slow. There's the Forge of Olympus. It's, it's, it's a minute away. I think it takes a minute to upgrade, or 30 seconds to upgrade. It takes a... And I get the get the um, the the patches all confused because it's always different depending on which game you're playing. Um, 30 seconds to build, so maybe maybe it is enough time to uh, for it to to come in clutch here because the Heliopolis did get picked off. Magic sitting at full population though, still trying to pump out those Heliopolis. He's got his own Forge of Olympus out. He's building uh, no extra armories though, which is a little bit sad. Uh, and not getting those upgrades just yet. So Magic just being a little bit, a little bit slow on that one. There's the armories coming up now for Magic. Obviously, he can't even afford the the food-based upgrade, so it's not the biggest deal. But we'll see if he can if he can do anything, or if he can at least uh, catch up. We just see the stables are already over here. Is the villagers looking for this gold mine? That's actually a big deal. There's only one gold mine left over here on the bottom of the map. Uh, and if Bubes can hold on to this position for long enough, Magic may not be able to. Uh, to continue here once he loses that bottom gold mine because Bubez is already throwing up buildings on the bottom. We do see Atlanta coming in over here to, to pick this one off. Magic not paying attention to that though, so she's just going to be tell a lie. He does pay attention. He's found he's found the uh, the villagers. So he was going to be running away here, uh, and we do see <laughs> eating some uh, eating some trees here as Atlanta will pick off that final colossus there. And the Colossus to Bubez is going to be searching for somewhere to go. And it's looking like Bubez is still not able to stabilize as he's still getting raided by Magic as this is going on. And Magic is just putting the pressure on. And Bubez is just not able to get those units out in time because he doesn't have the resources. How's his economic upgrades looking? He's got quarry, he doesn't have bow saw, he's got irrigation, so he's a little bit behind on those upgrades. Magic, on the other hand, has almost every upgrade except for quarry and carpenters. And Bubez taps out in this moment. 
as the Heliopolis comes in, and that is GG. Well played by Magic, really nice push there. Uh, and Boobets, uh, sometimes I feel like you gotta just give up a little bit of location when you're behind on the tech. So if he had, if he had sort of sacked this town center um, for a little bit, but being on 160 population, he probably could have um, could have got out the upgrades, and because Magic was so slow on them, he may have been able to hit uh, hit a timing where he's on bronze upgrades, Magic's only on copper upgrades. He pushes back, gets the town center, and you're in an even spot. Uh, obviously, super hard to know when to be sacking um, sacking ground and, and and retreating and and staying alive. The other thing you can do whenever you're sacrificing a um, a town center is you throw up a wall behind it. Uh, uh, and just so that you can pr make sure that your opponent doesn't get it, so you throw up the wall and you and you throw up some towers and, and uh, fortress and, and the like, and, and you can kind of defend it that way. Uh, and, and finally, the other option is you just build some towers back here, um, and that could have helped out quite a bit here if there was a couple of um, crenellation towers. It could have been a uh, the big difference instead of just fighting, basically, which was happening there. You just defend and get some towers up and only fight to try and pick off the uh, the siege weapons. But Bubes not able to hold on in this one. Magic playing very well, takes the first game of this series. Uh, he's up a one to zero now. We'll move on to game number two very shortly. Thank you all for hanging out with me. And I'm very excited with these games. I'm so excited. Magic's back.